this time out on Wink Ball Radar. George and Jade get up close and personal with adopted dogs at the Mayhew organization's Hounds on the Heath event. Alicia and Junie go clubbing before breakfast at Morning Gloryville at the Ministry of Sound. Whilst Emma and Jade checked out all things Japanese at the annual Hyper Japan event at Tobacco Dock. Hi, I'm Stevie and welcome again to Radar, Winkball's regular look at events happening in and around our city. As the summer rolls on, our reporters have been out in droves capturing the very best that London has to offer to share on winkball.com and across social media. Up first, George and Jade. They went to Hampstead Heath for the Hounds on the Heath event to celebrate all the great work being done by Mayhew for dogs, cats and communities and to meet some of the lucky pets and owners they've helped meet along the way. It's George here reporting for Winkball. We're here today at Hounds on the Heath in Hampstead, organised by the Mayhew charity that's been helping dogs, cats and communities for over 100 years. Let's go take a closer look at what our four-legged friends are up to. You got waggy tails and big pink tongues. <laughs> Yay! I'm sorry, it's too much fun. <laughs> and my name's Caroline Yates. I'm the CEO of Mayhew. And today we're on Hampstead Heath for our, one of our summer annual fundraising event, Hounds on the Heath. And also we are relaunching our new brand. We've gone purple. So we're Mayhew and we're purple now. My name is Aurélie and I'm the owner of Marcel Le Corgi. Uh, we're here today to support the Mayhew. My name's Jerry. This is Kate, my daughter, and our dog Tia, who we adopted from the Mayhew. Tell us a bit about what you're doing here today. Right, my name's Sue and this is Honey and I've hated dogs all my life. I've been scared them all my life. I wouldn't let my family have one. Then a friend arrived on my 70th birthday and uninvited, she brought her two dogs. We had quite a bit to drink and in the morning I was a total convert, went down the Mayhew. I'm the luckiest person in the world because there she was waiting for me. The big dog that's on the floor is Brooke. This is Barnaby who is nine weeks old. They're both Great Danes and we're taking them out A to spend the day supporting Mayhew, B to socialise the puppy. Um, and have a good day out. Oh, so sweet. Proof, if ever it was needed, that it's never too late to find puppy love. Now, if you'd like to inquire about adopting a pet, want to donate, or simply find out more about the great work that Mayhew do, visit themayhew.org. Now, London's dance and nightclub scene has always been eclectic, but nightclubbing in the morning? That one's new to me. Alicia and Julie went down to Morning Gloryville at the Ministry of Sound where they're reinventing rave culture as a path to well-being. This is Alicia Hansel for Wink Ball and we are here very early in the morning on a miserable overcast Wednesday to have a little bit of a boogie. That's right, we are at Morning Gloryville at the famous Ministry of Sound. Come join me. Europe for a month, I happened to be in London and I saw that Sam was throwing another one of these and it's at the Ministry, which is great. Not many places in London you can really fly your freak flag, you know, without people raising an eyebrow. When you look around and everybody else around you is having a good time and the energy in the room is, you know, right up here is incredible. You know, dancing is about feeling good in your body. I used to go clubbing but then I stopped doing that and wanted to dance in a more sort of wholesome environment. I've sort of come to prefer going out in the morning just because I've got lots of energy in the morning. I was partying so much um, in 2012-2013 that it was becoming unsustainable so me and a friend decided to reframe clubbing and to bring in new elements that we felt could a, help us have a healthier experience, but B, also have a more soulful, loving and connected experience. Massage, organic coffee and banging beats? Talk about going to work on a high. And those in security police? They should be on the beat constantly. For more information and a full list of their events, go to morninggloryville.com. And to check out hundreds of other ways to enjoy London and feel good, visit winkball.com. If it's worth doing, believe me, our reporters have been there and they are ready to share the experience. 
Right now on Winkball, check out the Gift Gap Money Pit Challenge, where visitors enjoyed a real workout whilst winning donations for charities of their choice. Share the stories of those showing their support for people with Parkinson's disease at the Walk for Parkinson's event at Greenwich Park. Or witness a real passion for grassroots running at the Saw Clothing Summer Mile event in Battersea Park. Heading east now, Emma and Jade went down to the fantastic Tobacco Dock to check out the Hyper Japan Festival, a celebration of Japanese art, food and pop culture that drew in dressed up devotees from around the globe. Hi, I'm Emma reporting for Winkle and today we're at Tobacco Dock celebrating Hyper Japan Festival. Here I have with me... Tinkerbell, hi. And... Peter Pan, hi. And they've come all the way from Paris to celebrate all things Japanese. Today I am cosplaying Taiwan from Hetalia and I've come from Newport, South Wales. I'm Alex, I'm from Bursko and I'm dressed up as Gara from Naruto Shippuden. Who are you dressed up as today? Well, I'm dressed as Lelouch V. Britannia from Code Geass. Cruel type is from Owari no Seraph. Uh, it is a manga about uh, what is it? Vampire Queen. It's kind of a chance to be like more free, like yeah. not be judged wearing cat ears, especially. Just well, chance to cosplay and um, chance to just you know do some shopping and just look around. This event yeah. is uh, much more fashion focused, and I think, and it's more about culture rather than. Because obviously you get the other side, which is like the anime and the gaming and things like that. And it's kind of, it's almost like together but separate. I really like the Japanese fashion, so I mainly came for the clothes. It's definitely oriented more towards kawaii fashion and just cute things in general. And also all the cute merch and clothes and everything. That's what makes it so unique, I think. Fashion, gaming, anime, J-pop, martial arts, and even travel advice for that dream trip to Japan. There really was something for everyone down at the docks. Hyper Japan will be back in London in November for Hyper Japan Christmas. To buy tickets or simply to check out what is happening and what you can expect, go to hyperjapan.co.uk. Well, that's all we've got time for this time on Radar. But remember, if you want to check out upcoming events that you can sponsor a report, join in the fun and become a Winkball reporter, or keep up to date with the very best that London has to offer, then visit winkball.com. And keep an eye out for us on social media. I've been Stevie for Winkball. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch.